Judd Tully, and we're about to enter Art Basel, Miami Beach. And uh, today I'm looking for masterpieces, 20th century works by world acclaimed artists. <laughs> Tell me about this Robert Indiana piece that we're standing more or Blocking less in front Blocking the way of. to yeah. see. Yeah. Well, um, we're very proud to have it here because it took us many years to speak with Bob about this work. It's probably his most important last work that he has done. Um, as you know, he moved to Vinyl Haven in the 70s. He's always lived very close to the water, even in the 1950s when he was in Quentin Slip in New York. So the element of water and driftwood has always been an element that he has worked with from the early beginning. And the title of this piece, Rum Run, is yeah. something mm -hmm. is something that mm -hmm. uh, is in many of the great works of uh, Robin Liana, something that refers to a personal anecdote. When he was 10 years old, he won the first prize of artwork mm -hmm. for a great drawing that he did, and it was called Rum Run. So he rose back to early elements of his childhood, but it's also the four-letter, three-letter combination of words that he's done, like the eat, the love. Because he's most famous, of course, for, for the, the four-letter L-O-V-E. Exactly. And um, this is much m sort of lesser known. Well, it, it, in it's, terms it's of more of a surprise, more mm -hmm. of a discovery, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're at the Heli Nemad Gallery, and this is Heli Nemad, and we're standing in front of, more or less, a Picasso painting, one of his famous Musketeer paintings. This painting is considered Picasso's uh, late period. It was done in the late 60s, 1968, and it's um, a portrait of a musketeer smoking a pipe, Picasso uh, at the end of his life is really uh, painting like a child, you know, these sort of loosely painted portraits mm, yes. which are, have become so imaginative and are so contemporary that were actually rejected by the establishment early on. But um, as scholars uh, have really, you know, gotten together and studied the body of work and through various exhibitions, we now find genius in Picasso's late work. We're at the uh, Van de Beek Gallery yes. here at Basel, Art Basel, yes. Miami. Yes. And we're standing in front and, uh, of a Warhol painting, yes. Statue of Liberty. Could you tell us something about the well, painting and the this year? This is and a very special painting. It's 1986. Mm -hmm. And 1986, to me, is one of the best years of Warhol because it's the year where he did some of my most favorite paintings, mm -hmm. the fried wig paintings, mm -hmm. meaning the self-portrait mm -hmm. fried wigs. Mm -hmm. This painting is a Statue of Liberty painting. Uh, I believe he made about nine paintings mm -hmm. of that image. This is the only one that does not have camouflage painting, so it's very special, mm -hmm. meaning that when you look at the painting, you're not distracted with all of the camouflage and all you see is the face. Mm -hmm. 